I think I'll start with the uh, the flat iron mm -hmm. that was produced by uh, the American Car Works, and you can see the ACW here. The American Car Works was a major industry in Milton. It still exists under the American Car and Foundry (ACF), and uh, this is, this is an item that was uh, created prior to World War II because in World War II, most iron materials were used for the war effort. So this is probably from the 1930s. My brother was a musician, was in the band, and uh, I haven't seen any others of these, but I know they have to be around, and this has been through uh, the 1972 flood in Nelson. You can see a little bit of water damage, but the, the record itself is in very good shape. They actually made a record of the Spring Band Festival in 1964. What's interesting is on the back they listed all the musicians okay. by uh, what instrument they played and my brother's name was Jay mm -hmm. and he's here under Jay Woodling. Okay. This is my mother, the second one in on the left, uh, Helen Woodling mm -hmm. and she was in a group called the Bijou Bells. They each got a pin that they would wear during the actual celebration day oh, okay. that they had to wear. If they did not have this on, they could be arrested and put in a makeshift jail downtown uh, and there would be a kangaroo court. Have you heard of a kangaroo court? I don't think so. Like a fake. Yeah, fake jail. Oh. And they had to pay like a dollar to get out or something like that, but they would be put on trial for not dressing appropriately. Oh, okay and appropriate for that time would have been something like this. Okay. And all the bells were a garter. That's the term bells, the sesquicentennial bells, they had to wear a garter. The union agreement from 1960 between the American Steel Workers Union, I don't know if you know a lot about unions, but they actually meet and discuss certain items and the management and the, the union come to an agreement for wages, health insurance, things like that. And this was from 1960. So that goes with the, with the items from my father. It's very, very much a blue collar town. Not a town of doctors and lawyers, you know, not white collars, very much blue collar. And if you got a job at the ACNF, you could, I mean, my father got the job. He graduated in 1941, got the job right away because he was a lathe operator. He worked, he, uh, worked on a lathe. ACNF made uh, tank cars for the railroads. And in fact, you can still see, they're still making them here in Melton. And he made the same part every day. Now in December 1941, we all know what happened, Pearl Harbor, he got drafted, but they kept his job for him till he got back. I wanted to bring items to represent him, as I did my brother and my mother. And my mother was a, you know, she worked outside the home in a factory, and uh, I was the first of my family to finish college. I have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and I, I taught uh, 34 years in the Danville School District. So it's important we make permanent records of this so that it's not forgotten. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I remember maybe 10, 15 years ago thinking, wow, Milton's going to be 200 years old, and 2017, but time flies, time waits for no one, and here we are. Yeah.